Right, hello everybody. I've had a bit of a purchase boo-boo recently and I thought I would show you what to do with it. I actually went to purchase some D CD cases, not cases, you know, the paper ones. And of course it said paper and plastic, which I thought, yeah, paper. And then the bit in the middle was the plastic. Never, of course, never read it properly. I never, never dropped down the box. So what came was 500 of these. <laughs> That's just one pack. So I thought I got to make things with it. And I've been sort of playing around. I haven't, you know, I'm going to come up with different things. But I've done... Um, what did I do? Oh, yeah. First off, I started off as the CD cover itself, which is the whole one. And that's one of my journaling cards. And because I'm working on that, the botanical, patchwork botanicals, I thought, oh, that, that journaling card would fit in there. But it was a little bit too deep. So I stitched it, put a bit of washi tape on the bottom and then stitched that fabric on the top and then that made the pocket shallower because I actually quite, oh yeah, I quite like this bit at the top with the top of the envelope there and made that into a tag, tag shape. So that just fits in because they're quite big. Um, what are they across? Five inches. So my journal is sort of like five and a half, so it's fine. So that's that one I've done. And then I thought, oh, I'll cut them down because, yes, there's a little bit of waste, but they would be wasted just sat there doing nothing. So this one I made into, like, um, because of, it's a pocket, and I'll show you how to do the, show you how to do these anyway. And you can just, you know, sew around and slip things in and then stitch it up. And then I left the tag top. You don't have to leave the tag top, but I actually quite like that. And that was one with the skeleton leaf in. Actually, couldn't find my pressed flowers. That's the only ones I could find. And I've done loads of last year, but I, I don't know where I put them. <laughs> so that's a skeleton leaf in that one, which I've done before with acetate. Well, I'll use this. So that's that one. And then I thought I would make the slide ones so I just cut some ones out I haven't got a, a die for that I may you know I just use the square cut the I'll show you anyway I'll show you what size and everything that I used when I come to that sorry I've got a stinking cold at the moment so but I'm okay I'm a lot better than I was you know a couple of days ago but just got um, a bit of a cold so that's the three I've done so I'll, I'll go straight on with that one because I haven't done that one yet but I've done those three and then I'll go back and show you how to do those ones. Right, so what did I do? I think I, uh, I'll just get the square. I've got one of those from there. I think that's Sizzix one. You know, you get loads together. So that's, uh, that was for this one. Yeah, and you just cut the piece of card slightly bigger. Let's have a look. That was four and a half by two and seven eighths by the look of that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then I've cut a piece of card. Three. I like a little bit that is a bit bigger down here because you can just put like um, some right in there, you know, a little sticker or something. I've done before so by five so that was three by five okay so I cut loads of cards out that size and then I'll go do two at a time two double pass through your um, machine for that okay and then I will centralize that as best I can because I've got a magnetic board you know plate so everything sits there okay and then I'll lift up a bit sorry like that okay and then so that leaves me a little bit more down the bottom there if I want to put like field notes or specimen you know anything like that and then I, and I cut two together all right so they are identical and I try to keep those two together so they actually match because 
And this one I done sort of more equal. This was my my first one I done my little sort of template. So, and this one, you know, I centralised, but I quite like the fact that I can I use that. So that's how I changed that. All right, but that was my prototype. <laughs> so that was that one. Then this one. That's three, I think. No. Two and a half. Or two and a half, yeah. And then I'd done it. Three. A piece of card. By three and a half. Yeah. So, I'm going to put that in there. Near the top. Like so. Gives me a bigger bit down there. Alright, and it looks like one of those old um, photo frames. Yeah. So that's how I've done that. Okay, went and got one of my deli sheets with what I've used for gesso and things like that before. And I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to use a coffee archival ink. And I've got some little stamps here. I sort of cho chose some that's on the smaller side. Okay, which I quite like that. Um, should we do a different one? Mm, just do that one for a change. Okay. Oh, where I get them from. Oh, I've had them ages. I don't know whether that was in my job lot. I'm not sure. Because I uh, somebody was giving up card making and I had loads, I must say. Well, I'll just stick it on there. Because it's me being me. <laughs> and just ink up. And then, yeah, just get it right way. Like that. Maybe like so. Oh, didn't get much of that. Make sure you do it random when you can't see it. <laughs> Here we go. Like that. Keep that one on because I quite like that one. And then ink up. I don't actually worry about inking up the back one so much. Sure, that goes together nicely. You can always trim after if it doesn't. Yep. Let's say slightly bigger, isn't it? But I'll trim that off. That's no problem. Okay. Then you get your plastic sleeve. That's why it's best to keep the both the two that you cut together together, <laughs> and then you use those. Um, right. What I do is I stick it. On the front, so that's the back, the open inside. And stick it on the front, okay. And I will stick this near where that line is. Yeah, I mean, most probably, you know, if you've done that and then cut that, because I'm going to cut this top right off on this one, you might be able to get another tag out of that, you know, a skinny tag or something out of that one to find a different cutting thing, but I'm sure. Yeah, we can get two out of there like that. Yeah. So I'll just stick that down. Now I sew mine, but I also use a bit of glue as well to keep it in place because it slides around. And I'll butt that right up to the edge, I think. Now, I don't glue the top of this one, okay, because I'm going to stitch it and then it won't stick to that. If I'd gone to make sure I'm right on that line, I'm okay, it doesn't matter, but I'm just slightly above. There's me putting glue on it. Yeah, well, I'm not very well, I do the silliest things. that 
I'll just cut that out. Yeah, it's a bit too skinny, I think, but I'm still going to keep it because I might come up with something with it. That's that. Right, and because we've got a nice opening here, we can put something in. All right, I think I'll just put one skeleton leaf in now. Quite nice. These might be a bit big. Oh no, it got smaller ones. There's a small one there. I'm just a bit full out that one. Okay. Usually it's stuck down a bit better than that, but glue must have dried. Okay, so I'm going to go and stitch around that now. Okay, went mad for the stitching. Again, <laughs> that's me. I um, I thought that would look nice down here, like there, something somewhere like that. Yeah, I'm gonna glue that down. That's just the Tim Holtz washi tape stuck onto card. And then I've got all those words. Much glue there, Andrea. word there. What's that? It's a little bit too much glue wasn't there. Right, so then I'm going to make a hole in the top over there, I think. And because I've just done quite a bit of stitching, it shouldn't affect any of that. Only just big enough, I think. now we can um i'm gonna hang this from there for now but we can hang that on something else you know in the book which is quite good so i'll leave this full length until i know where it's going to go and what's happening so and i can always shorten that okay it's just a little bit of something it's rather long in that but i'll leave it because i don't know where it's going to go all right in the book so that's that one easy right um should we do this one next yeah exactly the same procedure really let's get those out of the way cd okay i'm gonna face that i do it on the front I mean, you, didn't think you can batch do them, you know, I would get them all stuck down, all the flowers in, go and sew a load, which I will do after I've done this video, because that's why I've cut so many out, so I thought I wouldn't get a load done. Um, okay, 
look like they've been stuck together. Yep. Let's stamp those first. There's two there. Like that. Making sure it's the right way. And if you want more of a border, then, you know, make it slightly bigger. But I actually found that to work quite nice, so. Okay, CD case, make sure it's front. Bit of glue. And what I'm doing, just so that I don't have to do um, a couple of lines here, a stitch in, I'm actually making sure that has a bit of glue there all right or else you could lose what you put inside down down in the hole all right I'll come right down to that one like so need to get that off though No glue there. But if you were um, not sewing it, then you put your flower in or your leaf or whatever you want to put in or your shaker bits, then you would glue it. All right. Just slip around a bit so. Just checking that it's just together a bit better. That's fine. Okay. And then there should be a hole here, I see. Where you can put your leaf in. And should we have a big one? Three small ones. Let's have a look, see if I can get three in. You might not, I think usually it's a bit. Um, I'll do a bigger one for to get three in. So I might not be able to. Around the wrong way, that doesn't matter. I'm not sure whether it'll look right. Let me see if I can rearrange that a little bit different. There, I like that. And then I just hold that down. Okay. Cut that out.
and then I'll get the credit card and cut the same shape there. away and then I'm going to stick around that one okay just put a grommet in the top there and thread a bit of this through sorry silk and there you have it that's number two. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got two of those. One of those. Yeah. Okay. Now the big one. Right. And then the last one here. Okay. So all I've done there, which I won't do another one now, but I stitched all the way around there okay like that leave that then put your washi tape I can put the washi tape now like so like that. this is very sticky this washi tape so don't need to glue it I might just glue the edges but some sari silk which I have to go and find and then roof it up along there and then stitch over it all and that's it I sort of started here now actually I started sort of yeah here and I stitched there then I ruched up as I went along here okay and I stitched there there and then a grommet in the top the same as the others and that's then you've got your pocket and then make something to fit to go in there and that's that one quite very simple that one so Oop. okay 